there's a treasure trove of wonderful native plants out there still waiting for, for somebody to find them and bring them into our gardens. I guess what I've learned over the years is uh, it doesn't matter where you are, there's always an opportunity to find something interesting plant-wise. I basically keep all my supplies here in the truck ready for botanizing. We're going to be hunting for uh, grass seed today. There's a, a beautiful uh, native grass, mountain mist grass, that uh, the seed should be just perfect. And we're going to head up to the, the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. It's really uh, a combination of lots of different sources and inputs from friends and associates that, uh, that make this uh, plant hunting business so interesting. Well, we're, we're heading up to uh, Blephlinirin tricholepis, mountain mist grass. And uh, it's, uh, while it grows in the mountains, it's a wonderful native grass for landscapes and wildscapes. Well, this, this area in the Santa Fe National Forest, this is called Aspen Vista. And it came into existence uh, because actually of a catastrophe back in the uh, 1880s. There apparently was a tremendous forest fire. The aspen or the pioneer tree that come back first after a forest fire. Fire is uh, very important both ecologically and, and for uh, plant introductions. This brings a lot of plants back that we may not have seen for many, many years because of the trees that had been there previously. Well, here we go. Our, our long quest for Blephlinirin is about to come to fruition. Uh, the, the plant is finished with its uh, bloom cycle and the seed is uh, maturing now and so this is actually the perfect time to, uh, to collect the seed. So, pretty simple process. Gather it up, cut it there, there we go. Does the plant no harm? It's a healthy population so harvesting a small amount of seed uh, doesn't impact its ability to reproduce itself. But uh, you never want to go in and collect an entire field because that's, that's not ecologically healthy. Nice plant, nice and upright. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of imagination and just willingness to experiment because a lot of great plants don't look like a great plant sometimes when you find them in the wild. As we look at it here, you know, it's, well, it's, it's okay. Nothing spectacular. But when you get it into cultivation, it really is an exceptional uh, plant, especially when you can plant it to catch the morning or late uh, afternoon sun. It really uh, lights up these, these hillsides and it lights up our gardens. I'm glad there's a good crop of seed here because, of course, when you're out in the wild collecting seed, sometimes you can't offer the plant every year. Gosh, it's been at least six or seven years since we've sold it. I think it's time to bring mountain mist grass back into cultivation.